Good morning and welcome to Fresh, the show all about food, entertaining, design and wellness. I'm Courtney Wallen and on today's show we will be hitting on all of those topics. But for right now we're going to be doing food and we're out at Lula's Cafe in South Bend on the corner of 23 and Edison, just east of the Notre Dame campus. And with me is Steve Egan, the owner. How are you? I'm great, thanks. It's great to be out here. Lots of great sandwiches and salads and coffees and bagels and all kinds of good stuff. And today we're going to be preparing a few dishes. What do you have for us? Well, we're going to do a few of our signature things. We're going to start down here with our veggie sandwich, which has about 10 things on it. We're going to do one of our appetizers, which is a hummus with pita and blue corn chips. We're going to do one of our wraps that we feature a lot of. Um, this is an artichoke spinach chicken wrap. And then we're going to do our house salad, which is a crowd favorite. And that's got about eight things on it, too. So um, we're going to start down, I think, with the veggie sandwich down there. All right, great. Lots of fresh vegetables on all of this. And it said about 10 items on that veggie sandwich, that's right. which is a lot of good stuff on there. So we take some sourdough bread, and we take uh, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and Swiss cheese, and toast that up first. And then we do have those fresh veggies down at the end there with uh, lettuce, tomato, black olives, sprouts, cucumbers, and we throw all those on cold. So we have a hot, kind of a hot and cold thing going on with that sandwich. So lots of different cheeses, lots of veggies. I love hummus, and I don't really see a lot of places doing that very often, but it's really a delicious, and that's with chickpeas, correct? It sure is, yeah. It's got tahini and chickpeas. Those are two two of the biggest uh, ingredients, and we make that uh, homemade here. Garnish it with some paprika and black olives, um, and it's really nice with the, with the blue chips and the pita bread. So some people get that just as a main dish, not necessarily just as an appetizer. It's good, and it's very filling, and too. It's good for you, yeah. yeah. Lots of healthy stuff. And then the pita, or not the, is this the pita one? This is an artichoke chicken and spinach wrap. <clears throat> so we take grilled chicken, and uh, this is a flour lawash bread, it's called. So we chop up that chicken, um, and we take some Parmesan cheese, some homemade honey mustard vinaigrette salad dressing that we make here, and then some artichoke hearts. We throw in some spinach. It's as easy as that. It's easy, yeah. <laughs> wrap no. that up and toast it, and that's a, that's a really nice really nice meal. That looks very good. All this stuff is so healthy. I love it. Now, what kind of coffees? What are some of your specialty coffees that you have? Um, we do. Well, we the espresso we serve is called Danese, and it's an Italian um, coffee that's fantastic. And we use that in all of our espresso-based drinks. But we do all the mochas and lattes and cappuccinos and both iced and uh, hot, decaf, regular. So lots of variety on there. Chai. Um, oh, there's probably a million different combinations of drinks you can get. Oh, I bet. And people are so creative. Do you ever get a little confused with the, the way that people, uh, the orders that they want? People like to have a little ownership <laughs> on their order sometimes. <laughs> a little interesting. <laughs> <Handle it. laughs> oh my goodness. That's, oh, is that the pita there? So that's that, the pita. Yep, yep. That's the hummus and pita. Mm. And then the toasted, but oh my goodness. This all looks, and it's starting to smell really good back here. Now on game days, we're talking about game weekends. September 5th is the first home game here. Fridays and Sundays, you're very busy out here. It gets crazy. Those are really fun days. Everybody's in a good mood. Um, yeah, but we all, you know, we all we prep a, well, probably uh, twice as much as, as usual on those two days. Um, Saturday itself, most people are out by the stadium and, and, and not here, but um, those are fun. Everybody's, everybody's having fun those weekends. So. I now, what are your hours if people want to come and check you out? We're open seven days a week, almost every day. There's probably seven or eight days a year that we're closed. Um, we're open early in the morning, 7.30 most days, and we're open till 11 at night. So you can usually find us open. Oh, yes. Now, she's preparing the salad here, and this one also has about eight different vegetables on it. This is Lula's house salad, yep. We start with fresh romaine lettuce, and then we have um, a homemade blue cheese vinaigrette dressing with tomatoes, green onions, artichoke hearts, celery, feta cheese, and sunflower seeds. It's a really nice combo. Yum. Now, how many different salads do you have here? Uh, we have five main salads, but we're really flexible with it. People can kind of build their own and um, you know make whatever kind of combination they have. You don't have to get things exactly the way that they are presented on the menu. And now you have a new menu that's out front. You want to talk a little about? New, yeah, we have a new Lanyap menu, and Lanyap is a Cajun word meaning a little something extra. <laughs> and so there's about 10 new menu items. There's a breakfast sandwich on there. Uh, there's a few wraps, there's a few new salads, um, some really good stuff. Great. Now, how did you come up with the name Lula's? <laughs> it's a long story, <laughs> but the bottom line is a two-year-old named us. <laughs> Great. Great. Hey, that's there's always fun. There's a bust here of Lula, and uh, the, for some reason, this, this little two-year-old called it Lula. We built a whole story around her, and um, so 
It's been that way for 13 years now. Th that's great. That's funny. You've been open since 95, right? Since March of Mar 95? Yes, ma'am. Mar March of 95. That's right. Things have been going great. There's lots of local art here that you feature. Want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. One thing we try to do here at, at Lula's is feature local artists, musicians. Um, we do poetry nights um, where people can come read their poetry. And right now we're featuring David Allen and uh, Jackie Dickey on the, uh, on the art front. So... We always have original live music in, and, and um, so that's one thing we always are trying to support is culture and the arts, and also people doing good works in the community. We always try to feature whatever events that they want to promote. Um, so we want, we want Lula's to be more than just a restaurant. We also want it to be kind of a cultural bridge to the rest of the community, both Notre Dame, St. Mary's, and the greater South Bend, Michiana community. I love it. I love when you're supporting local art and artists of any kind, and we've got all these fantastic dishes here. Steve, thank you so much for showing us all this. And now if people want to check you out, what is your phone number so they can get a hold of you? We're 574-273-6216. And uh, like I said, we're open seven days a week. Come on out. Great. Well, thank you so much. This food looks fantastic. Come out and check it out if you haven't been here out here on the corner of State Road 23 in Edison, east of Notre Dame's campus. We'll be back after a short break, so stay tuned.